Hi friends, this is Prasad. You're watching Power Beer with Prasad. As a couple of subscribers asking to create videos on error bars, I just want to start a series of videos on error bars. Today, in this particular session, let's discuss upon three different variations of visualization using error bars. First one would be the enclosed dot plot, and the second one would be the dot plot, and the third one would be the dumbbell uh, uh, style of visualization. So without any due, like uh, let's go ahead and uh, start building this. But before that, I just want to tell that most of my viewers are non-subscribers. So please do subscribe so that it will give us encouragement uh, to build more visualizations. Hope you understand. So let's start building that. So again, I'm taking an empty space where I do have since uh, for four years. And to build this visualization, I want to go ahead and then grab a clustered bar chart. Okay, let's place it in this position. And then, so, I'll, so rather than this, okay, first of all, I'll get the subcategories into my y-axis. And I've created three different measures, which is simply sales, sum of sales, order sales, which is like fact sales. The second one is nothing but the current year sales and same period last year of that particular sales, which is nothing but the last year sales, which is nothing but simply calculate sales and same period last year of date. And my model is very simple. I do have an orders table and then a date and cities table and, and I created a measures table for my measures. So let's go ahead and uh, get the x-axis values also. I want to take the current year and my last year. And at the same time, I've created another measure, which is like dummy, which is nothing but zero. I just want to take it. And then afterwards, we need to modify as per our requirement. The first thing is, I want to go ahead and modify the values, maybe like five, 28 and let's place it in the right position. Right. And after that, uh, what I need to do is, so let's go into the bar chart and let's select all. And here, let's go to layout. Here, I want to overlap these two bars into one. So how can I do that? The space between series, I want to make it 100 by overlapping so that it looks like we do have bars overlapped on upon one. And then afterwards, let's close this. And I don't want to have my access title, but I don't want to have my access label and I don't want to have my values or the label for my XX. And at the same time, I don't want to have my lessons because I'll, I'll, I'll tell you like what we need to do later part. And then, right. I don't want to have all these uh, subcategories displayed uh, in my scenario. And I want to make it a little bit more detailed. So what I'll do is I'll filter my table in such a way that I'll get only top 10. So advanced top 10 based upon the sales apply. So I'll get only top 10 and I'll have like a space to manage them. And then my right, bars layout space between categories. I want to make it like 25 so that I'll have a little bit of more space over here. And then afterwards, rightly, I don't want to have for all of this. I want to make the transparency to 100%. Because I don't want to show these bars. Then what I want to show, I want to show, I want to go to analytics panel. And then I want to go for error bars. This is where the magic happens. So let's go to the very first value, which is like current year. So for my current year value, which need to be up to here. So first of all, I'll show you that. I'll I'll have that. And then afterwards, I'll tell you like how, why 
we don't need that for explanation let's keep like that this is my current year sales and then this is the black one is my previous year sales so for current year my upper bound would be the current year and my lower bound would be my last year it means i want to have a bar from here to here so if you see this so let's break it down so from last year sales to current year sales i want to have a bar first bar kind of arrangement to have that so firstly i'll go for analytics panel and then for sales my upper bound is current year sales and my lower bound is previous year sales so that is what i've done and it need to be absolute and i want to have my error bar enabled so again if you see first of all I've been enabled error bars. And after that, if you see, I have bar and markers also available. Again, I don't want to have any tooltip for this, but I want to have labels, which will tell me this is the current year sales and the previous year sales. I understand this is not visible, but again, I don't, anyhow, like we'll not have this bars. So at that time, like we'll be able to see the values pretty good. So, at this point, right, okay, how we want to have this bar. So this bar, I don't want to have this with this color, I want to have it with this color, right? And it need to be 10 points. And I want to have the border also with the same color and it need to be two points so that the total bar width will increase. And at the same time, my markers, I don't want to have the markers like this, I want to have a circular marker and that for seven points. So that will have a rounded corner edges for this one. So hope right now if you got some idea like from why, how we created this bar and to make it more easy to understand what I'll do is I'll go ahead into this bars directly and for all the bars, we'll make it transfer to zero. So it means like we are not showing the bars, we'll only, we are only showing are working with error bars here. That's fine. Like if you wanted to have a bar kind of uh, representation, you can finish up, finish here. But at the same time, I want to make it like more uh, feel good kind of things and more uh, insightful. So what I'll do is like, I'll go ahead and then make something look more better. So what I'll do is like, my upper bound would be not current year, like I'll take last year. And so if you see here for the last year, like wherever you see the last year, I've got an marker, which is like a straight line, a small straight line, hyphen kind of straight line. I, at the same time, if you, if you uh, I, in this particular value, I didn't give in the lower bound. If I give the lower bound, right, then I'll get like two, lines and one line into um, markers but as it as a given only one value one upper bound it means like you'll have a lot have a bar kind of things but you'll have a marker so at that particular place i want to make it the marker and place it should be six and let's make it like darker color with one background and the background will be white color to make it this one also dark color that right? you'll see like bigger, but I want to make it highlight kind of feel. So for that, I'll give a border color for this, which will give a small border here. And I don't want to have any tool tips for this, even like I don't want to have any bars for this, but when you switch off the bars, surprisingly, you'll not have the markers also, but no issues like this will work for us. And the next part is like, we'll go for the dummy one. But this one also I want to enable uh, what we call it as error bars. And I want to have upper bound as the current year. But the bar has started from zero. If you see the bar, uh, the dummy value is zero. It means it starts from zero to like the current year sales. I don't want to have uh, this entire line, but I want to have only one circle or dot over here. So for that, what I need to do, I don't want to have the bar from here to here. The bar need to be just here. 
So what I'll do is like I'll have the current here in the lower bound also. So then it thinks that the bar need to start from the same place where it need to end. So at this particular point, I want to make it orange color. And anyhow, like I don't want to show uh, the bar. That's fine. And the bar is like, uh, starts from there and then ends up at the same place. So we'll not get any bar. But I need to have a marker, which is like six points. And if you see, we got the dots. This is what we call it as enclosed bar. Right. Whatever. Right. Right. But okay, at the same time, we can convert this into another one, not just this one. Right. Not just that enclosed bar plot. Okay. And enclosed bar and dot plot. So I just want to convert it into dot plot. So how we can do that? Just go here, okay, into analytics, simply uh, for my axis, like current year, we do have a bigger bar, like which is like this much width. So what I want to do is, firstly, whatever the bar that we do have, I want to mix it with my background, simply. And if you want, you can increase the size of as we don't have uh, the background, okay, as we don't have, uh, so where for your information, right, okay, I'll keep it black first, okay, and then uh, I don't have any, um, so I will make it here, right, okay, I don't have any bars, I don't want any bars, so that at that time, I, I don't want to have any border for this particular dot also, so I'll, I'll, I'll make the dot also the same color, so that it will increase, so that's what I want to do, right, simply bars, I think I want to make it. I don't want to have it, but I'll simply, you can off the bars, but okay, as you've given uh, using error, error labels from this, like I just want to make it the same color of the background. And then afterwards, okay, you can go ahead and increase the size or like, okay, you can make the border also to the same color so that the size will increase. And then marker size also, you can increase to whatever you want, right? Uh, for these two values, uh, and I want to make it this one also, and I want to make it like a little bit bigger. You will be able to see like this is how we turn enclosed dot plots into completely dot plots. That's okay. But what about if I wanted to have a dumbbell plot, a dumbbell chart? It's very simple. Uh, okay, I, I, in Dumble, I want to make both these colors of dots into same color. So what I'll do is like, I'll go and grab the same color, right, okay, to my dots. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead to my current year, and then I'll decrease the size to like two, and then I'll make, the color to this one. Again, I'll decrease the size. So this is what we call it as dumbbell chart. At the same time, like we can modify the title. dumbbell chart or whatever it might be, right? Or else like you can make it enclosed. Dot plot or anything that you wanted to have, right? So again, the title can be, right, okay. So anything, right? I'll make it like error bar. Error bar version one. So let's have this title and it need to be in the middle. And then again, I'll go for the spacing. I want to have 10, a little bit more space over here so that 
I want to have right. So a simple go ahead some effects, visual border, and then it need to be like ten points. Okay, and then afterwards, uh, I wanted to have. I already have a text box. I'll enable that one, and then I'll get this in the bottom. So that you can able you will be able to see the values, or you will be able to see like whatever that the colors are, and then you can modify that. But here, if you wanted to have the colors differently, you can make it same color, and then the text also you can. This dot is nothing but an an uh, an image in text format. You can copy any from any of the websites, and then you can color it as you as you need it like based upon the current value what is the current value like how you want to color it the same color that you can have it here also right as this is the dumbbell chart i want to have both them into the same color if i want to make it into another version then i will go and have the same color of this particular icon written over here as the current year value simply if we are using two different colors for the dots, you can use the same color, which is like current year one, which will represent as the values that are showing over here. I think you understand how to build the first few versions of error bars. I'll come up with a lot of versions and then I'll create a playlist. Don't forget uh, to like and share if you like this, which will give us a lot of energy to build a lot more visuals for you. So. If you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this to other people. I'll come with another video. Until then, have a great week. Take.